these conversations used to end with an unusual request. I'm retired. But let me show you some stuff anyway, just for old times' sake. Did you and Chris ever, you know, talk about what the villain was going to be in this third one, and and you know what his characteristics were going to be? No. So he wouldn't discuss any of that with you. Nope. Look, the the one thing that seemed clear mm -hmm. was that you had to have a villain that would not be related to the Joker. Why is Bane the perfect villain to wrap this thing up with? We had never seen Batman go toe to toe with an antagonist who could trade blows with him and you wouldn't know and the audience is not going to know who's going to win. Did you have a sense that this was going to be such a big deal as it's become now? Well, you can't imagine that, but I, I knew that it was very, very different from any other big spectacle I'd, I'd seen because the quality of writing in the characters mm -hmm. is I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it unless there was something in the character. I wasn't going to come on and say dinner is served and pass the salt or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, uh, um, um, I played a butler, right. but he wasn't the butler. He was the foster father of Batman, really. Right. You are as precious to me as you were to your own mother and father. I swore to them that I would protect you, and I haven't. Why is this a character that you've always wanted to play? She's really cool. She has her own code. She's independent. Um, she's tough. She's powerful. She doesn't care what people think about her. It's, I mean, those are all really enticing things. I love the relationship between you and uh, Bruce Wayne. How would you describe that? Uh, complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, um, I think they surprise each other. And I think they're two people who aren't often surprised. You guys have a great relationship here. Uh, but I'm curious, Gary, from your point of view, how would you describe you know, the dichotomy between your two characters here? When we meet Gordon in the first mm -hmm. one, yeah. He's still trying to kind of do the right thing against all the odds, and it is a very and it's and he speak, has become, um, despite himself, you know, a little uh, jaded, and sees a young Gordon. He sees himself, mm. I think, in uh, in in Blake. When you cleaned up the streets, you cleaned them good. Pretty soon we'll be chasing down overdue library books. It'll liven up in a minute. Trust me. Okay, so I, I just want to confirm. Um, mm -hmm. This is it. This is the last one. There's not going to be another trilogy like Star Wars, right? No, no, no. There's, we're, we're done. And uh, it's been a great nine years working with these characters, entrusted with these great pop icons. And I wouldn't change it for the world, but okay. we're finished and moving on. And I don't think we should do a fourth one. Because this, this one is so good, I think you're, you're on the way down. You know, some, some movies get called a trilogy, but they're not really a trilogy. It's just another sequel to right. make money. This really feels like an ending. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. I would only, only do Gordon again if they paid me one million. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's pushed the bar to the limit on this one. No, there's not going to be. Honestly and truly believe Chris Nolan when he says... There's no more. You and Chris aren't going to go away for a little while then come back. This is it. This is it. All right. Just check it. And, you know, why shoot yourself in the foot? I <laughs> why don't people believe <laughs> <laughs> Now that you walk away from the franchise, um, what would be your fondest memory from this this uh, whole trilogy, this adventure? Um, just, the, just the pure joy of being able to have played such an iconic character, you know, to, to have successfully uh, with uh, with my fellow filmmakers, Chris is the leader. You know, have taken the Batman story in a different direction that was embraced. I'm telling you, you're retired. I'm retired.